Hi, this is Toby Shaw with LA Photo Party, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at morphing. So the first step, you're going to turn on your Photo Party Upload Helper, which you can see right over here, the gray icon. I've already opened that. If you go down here to your Start menu, you'll be able to see that it appears as an icon, and it's got the green check mark, which means that we're logged into our account. If I open it up, you can see that the No Branding event is selected, which is my testing event. All right, now we're ready to use our Photo Booth Upload program. I'm using the beta version. There we are, and now I'm going to hit S on my mouse to bring up the settings screen. And uh, right now we have Morph Test as our output folder. That looks good. And I'm just going to change the file prefix to Morph Test. Now everything else here looks pretty good. And I've disabled all the options between green screen going all the way over to Morph here. We're going to change Morph to Auto Apply because we're just doing one at the moment. And I'm going to do Make New Morph. I'll name this Morph 1. You can do something more creative than that. And we're going to do Disable Green Screen for now. Now output size, I'm going to put 12 by 800, so that's going to be a 4 by 6 output. Uh, you can do any aspect ratio you want, but generally it'll be a 4 by 6. Overlay image file, I'm going to go ahead and load an overlay. I'm just using the LAPP overlay. Looks good. And now we're going to go to Morph Images. I'm going to add a Morph Image. And the first one will do green screen photo. That also works if it's not a green screen. It's just going to take a picture of whoever's in front of the camera. So we'll expand that to make it fit the frame. And we'll add another image. This one's going to be a static image. And I'm going to load, let's go with Ryan Gosling. All right, very dapper. And just fill the screen. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to go over to Face Placeholders. I'm going to add one of those, and that'll give you an outline of the face. You want to fit that to your static image. And it doesn't have to be exact, but you want to try to get the eyes as close as possible. And uh, look at the eyes, the nose, nose and the mouth. Uh, that looks good. Now let's take a look at our settings here. Duration, we'll set that to 5 seconds, that's fine. Frame rate 15. Now we have the option to export as a video or a GIF. If it's a GIF, it'll loop automatically, so let's look at our video settings. And we can set the number of loops, so let's put that to 3. And then we can load an audio track here as well. I'm going to load Greasy Wheels. And hit OK. All right, we're ready to test our GIF. So make sure you select your GIF, and you'll see it pop up there under Auto Apply. And let's give it a spin. Now you can see the facial guidelines appear there. And I'm going to align my face to the guidelines as best I can. I'm going to match up my eyes and mouth especially. There we go. That looks pretty good. Great. And in one second, we'll see our morph into Ryan Gosling. There we have it. And that is morphing a green screen image into a static image. Now we're going to look at our second option for morph, which is morphing a guest into another guest. So I'm going to do make new morph. Name this one morph number two. And again, we're going to disable green screen for this one. I'm going to load the same overlay file I was using before. And remember to change your output size to whatever size your overlay file is. So we're going to use 1200 by 800, which is a 4 by 6 aspect ratio. I'm going to add a morph image here. And we're going to use green screen photo. And I'm going to size this to my frame here, so make sure there's no black showing on the edges. That looks good. We're going to add one more green screen photo. 
and then we'll add a face place holder. You'll see the facial guidelines pop up there. And I'm going to size this to the frame of my photo. You don't have to match this up with the face in the preview there because we're going to match our face to the guidelines. And I'll hit OK. Now because we have more than one morph, I'm going to do user select and I'm going to select both of these morphs. And you'll see those pop up in the bottom left corner there. I'm going to select that one and we'll match my uh, face up to the guidelines there. I'm matching up my eyes and mouth. That looks good. And we'll do one more. All right, in just one sec, you'll see the guest to guest morph. There we are. And there you have it. Now we're ready to look at our third option for morphing. We're going to morph more than one guest into more than one guest. So we'll do make new morph. I'm going to name this one morph three. And this time we'll leave disable green screen unchecked. We are going to use a green screen. I'm going to load a background file, the red gradient there. And I'll use the same overlay file. Okay, we're going to add our morph image. And again, this is going to be a green screen photo. I'm going to match that to my frame. And we'll do a second green screen photo. And the chroma key looks pretty good on that, so I'll leave those settings. Now because we're doing more than one face, I'm going to click a second face placeholder. And I'll just drag those into position and size them the way I want. My friend Jonathan's been good enough to help me uh, demonstrate this. So we want to make sure our morph is selected in the user select. We'll hit OK. And the video is a little choppy. Sorry about that. That's just the screen capture trying to catch up. So we'll do a photo with our faces in the facial guidelines. And then we'll just switch places. And this will be a morph of the two of us morphing into each other. There you have it. So that concludes the third portion of morphing. That's multiple guests morphing with green screen. Thanks very much for watching.